Hi, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here to review this Bud Light. And these are, I asked, uh, I was at a place called Joe Beer in Edinburgh. I asked him, what's one of your best deals? Uh, so I was only in there real quick. And he said, this eight pack of 16 ounce aluminum cans was $10 and 40 cents, I think. They said that was probably their best deal. But I thought, heck, I'll get that. And this is our new reclosable refreshment, uh, new reclosable twist, cool twist uh, cap, I guess. And let's take this out. And these are what the bottles look like. These look awesome. And it's already open because uh, Anson was kind enough to take uh, Stephen, my niece, and my nephew, and myself out to that drive-in yesterday. And so I, I said, well, heck, and, and he paid for everything. And I said, heck, well, I'll at least give you a beer. That's why it's open. But this is my first beer trying from here, a Bud Light, in a cool new aluminum uh, bottle. Let's give it a shot. Because the last, well, hmm, smells really good. That hits the spot. That's really good. I like this. Uh, a traditional above a Budweiser taste, but I don't mind it. I some more. It goes down nice and smooth. So I give Bud Light a 9 out of 10. Uh, this was actually the... It's kind of weird because... This is actually my first uh, beer review since my dad passed away. I, the day before he passed away, I bought that half case of, uh, what was it, that half case of the green apple, the Red's Apple Ale green apple, the Granny Smith apple. And uh, the night before I did a review, and I shared one with my dad. I'm, thankfully, I got to have one last beer with my dad because the next day uh, he was passed. But, uh, yeah, this is really good. So, uh, someone wanted me to do a beer review. I can't, let me go check the guy's name. Yeah, d uh, wait a minute. Let me go check. I, I, cause some, I, I, I forget the names of the people. Yeah, uh, Dylan, Dylan Flemons. Yeah, he wanted me to, he said he wanted to know what my favorite beer was. And, and he said a uh, beer review would be sweet. And I said, cool. And, uh, you know, he asked me what favorite. I said Killian's Irish Red. I just have to make sure I pronounce the name of the YouTube right, too right. You may think I'm doing it on purpose, which I'm not. And uh, also I want to talk about something else. Uh, I was watching Film Fest uh, TV, one of the free internet, uh, <laughs> internet channels that has free movies. But the one thing with the free movies is they have commercials. And they have something at the end called uh, Sorority Nightmares or something like that. It's like a bunch of uh, B movies that have like cult classics, cult uh, or like cult classics, I guess, or exploitation films. And they had Demon Seed on there. It's like, what's Demon Seed doing on there? Because I saw it in Fort Bragg, and that's a big budget sci-fi movie that MGM did. I was like, I'm surprised to see that. And I, it had uh, the cast on the script of the cast and the plot line of the movie. So I said, okay, I'll watch it. I'll start watching it. And I started watching it. I was like, this isn't the same thing. I was like, I, I've seen this movie before. It's not the same thing. It was a movie called Demon Rage, and they put Demon Seed right, Demon Seed over the uh, title. And, you know, I had Britt Eklund and uh, John Carradine in it. It's about this girl that, uh, Oh, her and her husband are having a loveless marriage or something like that. They move to this house in front of the beach. And she gets visited by a ghost. And the worst special effects ever. And she gets accosted while well, raped by the ghost. Uh, and this was a few years before the Entity. Now, the Entity, they had that. And it was far more graphic as far as the uh, actual rape scene with the ghost and stuff. This one is more laughable, at least for the animation of the ghost coming in and then. They kind of show something, but, I mean, she's just, I mean, it's not as graphic. Uh, 
And it's, it's interesting because I wanted to see this one again, too. And the movie's all right. Uh, I just started watching. I'll be back. I'll give you a final review of Demon Rage, not Demon Seed. They they kind of trick you on that one. All right. I'll be back with a review of Demon Rage. Well, anyway, he's back with a movie review. Like I said, it would have been cool if they had just been honest and just called Demon Rage and not Demon Seed because Demon Seed's a well-known sci-fi movie. Uh... And Demon C, I saw in Fort Bragg, it was, was awesome. Well, going back to Demon Rage, like he said, whenever he uh, costs a woman, like, the effects were really cheap. They showed, like, a little bit of animation when he came in the door. Or if he showed them, they showed, like, flashing lights and, like, a little, little, like, a paper, oh, like a little paper photo of his face. And it, it was really badly done. And then, like he said, uh, he made things dangerous for her husband. And, of course, he doesn't like her husband. And then she isolates herself in this one room, the guest house on this beach house where she just does painting. And then the guy comes in and uh, ghost or demon or monster um, it just appears in full human form now just to save money. And then she she widely accepts him and, and they start making out all the time. And the husband say, why, why do you keep going in here and doing all this stuff? And then when he leaves, the guy... Uh, Locks his locks the door in her. And like he said, uh, the husband does come in and he makes out with her and then the guy gets really mad and jealous. I don't want to give away away a lot of the movie. It's a very low budget film. I was curious to see it again because I was wondering about it. Uh, I didn't remember that much about it. All I remember was the beach house and uh, she was in a hot tub and you know the guy they were mad. It was like she was like the entity before the entity came out but the entity was far more graphic and explicit than this was. Uh, I was wondering, I just couldn't remember that much about the movie. I was curious to see it again, and I know why, because nothing really, it's not really that important of a movie. It's very loud, though. The soundtrack is very loud and has very, like, weird music in it, but it's played very loud, where the dialogue is sometimes hard to understand. The dialogue's understated, but the music is overstated. So, like I said, I give this a mild... Oh, mild six and a half out of ten. It's not, you won't remember it that long after seeing it. You might remember how cheesy the, some of the effects were, but it's okay. I would have much rather seen Demon Seed. I saw that for Bragg. Demon Seed's a cool sci-fi uh, thriller. But oh well. So there's a have it. My reviews of uh, Bud Light, which was really good, and Demon Rage, which was eh, okay. But very low budget, and you probably won't. You probably it's not a very memorable movie. You'll remember the the location of the beach house and the hot tub, and that's pretty much about it. And made her nudity, Britt Eklund's nudity, and that's about it. So until next time, bye. Please take care, my legion.